Hello, my name is Ibon Kim. Welcome to this short video of my final year project title Modification of Quad 4 or 5 Power Amplifier Circuit for it to deliver higher current availability. What I actually did in this project was to get an original Quad 4, analyze it, and implement it on Proteus software. With supply voltage of 500 millivolts, I measured the output voltage as the AC voltage that I got 28 volts. I also measured current availability in the circuit, which I got minimum of 3.5 amps. With that, I thought of a possible ways of modifying the circuit for it to have higher current availability. So one of, one of the things I discovered was that I could have reduced the value of this resistor. I hope you can see it. R35 from 0 0.09, 0 0.09 ohms to a low that would have gotten higher current availability. But that is not what I did. Yeah, I could have also connected um, a diode to the base of transistor TR8 yeah this transistor is TR8 and transistor TR9 with that the voltage at the base of transistor TR9 would have increased by 0 0.6 volts and the voltage and current would have increase but however i did not do either of the two what i did was to use Darlington transistors configuration method to pay this transistor tip41c with um transistors tr9 and tr these two power transistors with that i had higher current availability i'm not going to bore you with how i did simulation on the proto software because um this video is just a short video that I, do, I don't expect to exceed them um, five minutes however this is the circuit diagram of the original quad 4 5 power amplifier circuit which i implemented on Proteus software you yeah, build the quad 4 5 power amplifier circuit and also build this uh, modification aspect of it on pcb then i tested this board got you know recorded the current availability in this board then I connected this other board, the small one with um, this um, two power transistor CIP41C. I connected the A to this board and measured the current, and I got higher current availability. What I'm sure in this project was I was able to increase current availability on the that that is the Quad 4 5 power amplifier circuit, not the original one. This I made this one to a higher current when I connected this aspect of the modification to it so i'm going to show you how i actually did the testing you know and measurement of the current in the lab let's watch how i tested this circuit all right this is the setup for testing of the power amplifier circuit board you have two dc power supplies one supply minus 50 volts to the negative row of the power amplifier circuit board while the second one is supplying plus 50 volt to the positive row of the power amplifier circuit board. Then we have a dummy load 8 ohms um, resistor at dummy load. Then we have an um, oscilloscope for measurement of output and input signal. And we have um, a multimeter that measures um, the voltage uh, and current. This oscilloscope shows the output signal for measurement of the quad circuit board without modification. The output was um, 16 volt yeah at um, one kilohertz um, frequency and with this it was able to calculate the current availability using ohm's law v is equal to ir i is equal to v over r so with this calculate 16 divided by the load value which i already know is 8 ohms so 16 divided by 8 was able to confirm that um, there was um two amps yeah current available in the circuit so with that i decided to move on this is the connection of the two circuit boards for modification so the voltage increased to 30 volts that's the maximum voltage with that i was able to calculate current availability in the circuit by dividing the maximum voltage of 30 volts by the value of the load which is um, 8 ohms and i got um, 3.75 which is approximately 4 amps so that's the increase from 2 amps so in a quick summary i was able to increase the current availability on this circuit board that was built 
to from two amps to 3.75 amps when this other motivation aspect of it was um, connected to it and tested thank you very much for your time and bye